From office vacancies to remote work, cities are struggling, seemingly more than ever, to attract people downtown. Paul Gessler reports why Baltimore seems to be doing better than most cities in doing just that, and why the new Lexington market is so critical in the city's future. The new world famous Lexington Market, Lexington market has everything. is now open for business. You get your cakes, you get your donuts, you get your fish, you get your chicken. What can I do for you? Market Bakery sets up shop at the Utah Street entrance. What can you want? For nearly 50 years, I'd need a chocolate chip. Okay. Minas Master Minas's family has had a spot in this downtown market. The most popular one is our burger cookies. They're coming from all over the country just to stop here to get the cookies. When COVID hit, the baking stopped at Market Bakery like everywhere else. Ooh. I was scared. I was scared to come to work, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. And things were tough. The business was tough. Everything was tough. He says now business is back. Downtown partnership leaders call Lexington Market the center point of reimagining downtown. Once people come to Baltimore, and it's research to prove it, they fall in love with it. Baltimore seems to be attracting more people downtown. I'm just thinking that Baltimore is on the rise. CBS Innovation Lab looked at cell phone data from dozens of cities and compared it to 2019 before the pandemic. Baltimore's data was collected in the 21201 and 21202 zip codes, making up the bulk of downtown up to North Avenue. By the end of 2022, Baltimore was near the top of city studies. It's downtown rebounding to almost pre-pandemic activity. Salt Lake City has attracted more people downtown than 2019, with cities like Cleveland and San Francisco struggling. I think if you look at our eds, our mids, and our feds, right, that's where we're strong. Downtown Partnership President Shalonda Stokes points to a diversified job landscape downtown. Hospitals, schools, and government jobs, many of which rely on in-person work. It's the events, she says, that bring people who don't live or work here back. Downtown sports stadiums, theaters, and special events like festivals and fireworks. We want to make sure that we're giving them an experience to come out and then go to the restaurant and that ecosystem, take in a show and all of those things. Stokes acknowledged Baltimore's narrative can be complicated. Visitors last month for the CIAA tournament told us their first impression of the city was blight from our vacant property crisis. I've seen so much on the news and usually it's negative feedback about this city, Baltimore. There's so many abandoned houses. So when you come downtown around the university and everything, it might be a ray of hope. Stokes says recent studies have pointed to the city's crown jewels as that ray of hope. One of the things that they said was, oh my Boop, boop. I won't say those words on TV. Goodness, you guys have such amazing assets. One of those assets, Lexington Market. Everywhere you go, you see a police or either a police officer or a security guard. It's pretty much, you feel safe. Minas says security is critical in creating a safe environment, and Stokes agrees. There's no story where we'll talk about now in downtown partnership that security is not going to be a part of our narrative. A narrative, trending at least, in a rebound direction. Thank you very much. Eh? Have a blessed day. Reporting downtown. See you tomorrow. Paul Gessler for WJZ. Nice to see you. Come again.